Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me here today on the Maypole Farm for Farm Sim 22. We got big ugly weeds to kill. Eh. No, well, can't pull them up. Guess we'll have to use the death spray. Hope everybody's doing well today. It is uh, Thursday, the 16th, I'm going to guess. <laughs> Oh, June 2023, another beautiful sunshiny day here on the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia. And let's get you unfolded so we can revel in your sheer beautitude. No, you're not going to clear the hedge, right? Oh, just did you see that? I'm pretty sure we just gave that post a, a bit of a leveling off. So, let's... Uh, well, let's see what happens. Do you hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful, wonderful summer so far. Hasn't been too bad. Mind you, we've... Uh, other than that really weird period of the beginning of May, we haven't hit any extreme sort of summary things, which, I mean, they are guaranteed to come. Okay, that doesn't seem to matter how far along I put that, it just doesn't want to work. Interesting. Oh well, we'll take it as just another visual glitch, because it probably is. So, uh, a little bit freaky, eh? For the first time in a long time. Yeah, we gotta get away from that. Steam has, uh... Oh, come on. Boy, it's either everything or nothing here. You really don't need to be nine inches from the hedges for these fields. But yeah, Steam has, uh... Ah, and again... Uh, I truly loathe these freaking hedges, man. They take something that's normally not terribly difficult to make it darn near impossible. At least this one, we've got a little bit of room on the edge here. But, uh, yeah, I guess, uh... All the beta testing that's been going on with Steam has uh, finally made it into the public launch. And it was a little weird, because uh, I went to load up the game this morning. And uh, launched it. And then this weird window I've never seen before pops up. I barely had time to read it, but it was basically a, a picture, an icon picture from Farm Sim 22. And... Uh, Either Steam is now loading, or Steam is now running Farm Sim 22, whatever, yeah, kind of, uh, I mean, you know, just different, different stuff. Alright, now that we got this bit, oh, again, I mean, obviously I'm overhanging enough, so that's just some, some wonderful graphical error. It just, I don't know, it just, eh, it really detracts from uh, the look of things. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Field, which is probably not going to be an oat field anymore. We'll require this as well. And I gotta admit that uh, spot sprayer thing that cost us darn near 50% of the total uh, cost of the machine certainly does what it says that it would do by saving us on uh, herbicide. 
the rate has been just great. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's do the... Uh, this, this is weeds, right? Oh yeah, look at these things. God. Just, yeah. While they still say they're small, wow, how big are they going to get? <laughs> That's like the size of a good cabbage, for heaven's sakes. But, uh, ew. Actually looks a lot nicer here, right? But, it'll look a lot nicer with a proper full crop in there, which we're not going to get if it's just a weedy mess. No, I don't want to be that close to the hedge, thank you. All right, on you get. Yeah, you have to get way closer to that hedge than I like. Man. Oh, come on. Close enough. <clears throat> as long as we can keep it out of the weeds. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll probably want to do the same at the top. Uh, okay, there's another one of those. Oh, graphical glitches. makes this so unnecessarily finicky. Ah. Just gonna even this bit out a little. So we're not doing crazy lines. There we go, look at that, eh? Boom, thank you. Yeah, that's definitely just a, just a graphical glitch. Perfect. All right, well, let's carry on here. We did leave a little bit of uh, straw in this one, didn't we? Oh. As I said, I think we've got enough straw to pretty much last us a lifetime at this point. Okay, let's get a nice even end here. There we are. Like it, like it. And... Now, is that field? No, it's not. Okay. It may be covered in lime, but it's not our lime. Of course, that's never stopped us before. <laughs> eh. That's better. Well, hopefully they show up and weed their field pretty soon, too. Because if they don't and it goes to seed, well, then this was kind of a waste of time, wasn't it? And that apparently is quite, uh, quite common on farms. 
cross-contamination of, well, it's not really contamination, but, you know, let's say I'm growing a, a field of corn here, and that fellow across the way there is growing a field of corn, and there's pretty much nothing that's going to uh, ensure that whatever corn I'm growing doesn't end up, uh, you know, sliding a few seeds over his way. Won't be in the form of seeds, of course, but you know what I mean. But I guess in this modern age where farmers aren't actually allowed to use their own seed crops for seeds, that uh, that sort of thing's not really a concern because everybody's growing the exact same, you know, the exact same soybean, the exact same corn, blah, blah, blah. blah. For instance, when we lived in the Fraser Valley, which is uh, pretty much all farming, for years, if you bought local corn, you bought a thing known as peaches and cream, was the, uh, the variety. And it was a corn that uh, was a mix of yellow niblets and white niblets on the cobs. Quite tasty, very, very sweet corn. Um, I didn't eat much of it because, well, let's face it, people shouldn't really eat corn. <laughs> it's not food. But, uh, and then all of a sudden it changed, you know. And that was every market around the valley. You know, all of a sudden peaches and cream corn was not being sold at everywhere from the big supermarkets to, you know, farmers markets no longer was it available, it was a different thing, it was all yellow kernels, quite firm, much bigger cobs, blah blah blah, you know, and uh, yeah, I can only, uh, I can only guess that uh, when they ordered their seeds that year, they were told, okay, this year you're growing this, no, not you, all of you, yeah, I don't know, now, I remember just before I left, peaches and cream corn came back into, uh, you know. And there was, of course, there was, oh, good, I really like that. Or much better than the, 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 boy. I can't remember the name of the other one. But, uh, I mean, no surprise, peaches and cream is a pretty easy name to remember. You know, everybody from oatmeal companies to apparently uh, Monsanto has used it, so... I can only assume it's Monsanto supplying the seeds to uh, the corn farmers of a chili whack. There was other corn available, but it was completely unedible. It's what they call cow corn. And it was just various, as far as you could tell. I mean, the plants didn't look that similar. The cobs didn't look that similar. So, it was either a type that was just not considered perfect enough you know, in so much as you did get variances for human consumption and so was fed to cows, or it was actually a, a you know, a type of corn that was, you know, rather rough compared to uh, what you would normally eat. done. Now, I don't know that we have anywhere else that this is going to be needed. Can't say for sure, but I don't think so. Alright, we'll get that last little bit. Ok, 
Okay. So. Hmm. Let's have a look at El Mapo. And. Okay. So these are all done. What is sixty five? Oh, that's that wheat field we just harvested. So it's going to need pretty much everything. Seventy five is our sunflowers. Sixty seven. All right, we're going to go have a look at those. Um, yeah. See what do they require. Right. Now these were the two that I was just sort of debating whether we were even going to keep them or not. They were sort of bought just to do a harvest. So yeah, weeds are growing. It does need to be limed as well. Um, okay, that one also lines up pretty much perfectly. But we would have to... <laughs> nice trick if you can do it. Where? have to yeah Ugh. sugar beets hmm well I'm just thinking if I keep this I'd want to kind of uh, turn it into one field. That is kind of the only one that's missing, isn't it? Ah, well, we don't have the money at the moment. Hmm. What, what, what shall we do? Forty-eight thousand he wants for that. Uh, that thing, huh? Wow.
Or we could just sell these, which was sort of what I was originally going to do anyway. Oh, we don't own this? Yeah, we do. Oh, I see. The number comes up blue when you click it. Okay. Hmm. That's a weird field out there. Don't recall that at all. Um. There we go. Takes care of that. That takes care of that. Mm -hmm. Come on, buddy. It's a good strategy, but just a little quicker than he is. All right, so let's simply not. Because I don't really want to be buying that guy's uh, sugar beet field. There's nothing for me. Not interested. Alright, let's go park this guy up. And then I'm going to take a walk down to the end there and see what that's about. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this sprayer. Seems like a nice purchase. It was certainly uh, not cheap, but it does seem to be a quality bit of gear, and I guess that's what counts, isn't it? is going to take a, this will take a minute or two to harvest, I tell you what, it will indeed, there's our big, uh, big hive house, but what I'd like to know is what's hiding back here, oh, corn, easy guys cornfield, huh? Okay. You know, this isn't a bad piece of dirt. Hmm. And through here...
Bipolar profit, eh? Hmm. It's a fairly chunky bit of canola field, isn't it? I do kind of like this. Uh, field, ooh. Well, that's gonna run us a dollar or two, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, in fact, 112,000. Well, we could afford it. And that would make up for... Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Yes. Okay. So now, let's figure out just how they expect us to get to it. Shall we? Because, yeah, this road just sort of, okay, goes this way. Um, I see, this is the back side of our sunflower field. So... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is the actual edge of the field. Um, I just find this is the best way to deal with this. This will also make uh, our job much easier when it comes to dealing with these sunflowers. So. And the neighbor's welcome to complain if he wants. I'll just tell him, well, I only cut down my side of the hedge. come down there or we can simply come out of our gate I like it so up next I guess we are going to uh, start replanting and we'll start with our fields right up here now that we've uh, done the usual and blended them into one it should make for a fairly decent run indeed
But there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. So, really hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And check out the description down below. There are some links to some awesome YouTubers. Till next time, though, take care of each other. Go hit the like button. And ciao for now.